Hi everyone, just a quick follow up video about my uh, garbage can uh, prop. It worked quite well on the night in general, uh, had the desired effect. Quite a few kids were creeped out by the voice coming from the can, so that was the job well done. Uh, I've rearranged the insides since to um, make the remote work better because I had to be within about two or three metres of the can for it to trigger from the remote because the aerial was on the inside and it's a steel can, so. Uh, the signal uh, was it was doing well to get inside the can even from that distance. So um, to make it a bit better, I've drilled a hole in the uh, side of the can, and there's just a little zip tie to make sure that the cable can't get pulled through too much and rip it off the board. So that just goes onto the outside. It's just hanging out the back here, some brown wire, so it's less obvious. But uh, you won't even really notice it at night time anyway. And that's the back of the prop anyway. The way I had it sitting there, so from the front view, you've got no idea that there's any wiring or anything. And uh, the cabling for the power goes down there, and that goes out through a grommeted hole in the bottom. So um, that'll go out the, towards the back, pick up power from the uh, central power supply that I've got for powering a lot of these props. So uh, that's just a worthwhile improvement to do. I thought I'd do it before I uh, put the prop away for next year. So the only other thing that uh, might be nice is um, maybe a diff try a different speaker instead of that transducer one a little uh, oral exciter on the lid might try a regular speaker to see if that's louder and a bit more bass in it that uh, might have a bit uh, better sound to it so uh, i'll continue on